very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course yes it's official right now the holiday season of 2020 has just begun and finally we are about to finish this horrible horrible year and i really hope uh, the next year will be a blessing and very happy new year for everyone and of course i don't want to forget to to, to wish all my christian friends and family right here in this channel and everywhere a very happy and merry christmas and i hope this holidays and the christmas will be full of blessings for everyone and of course uh, on extreme trader also we had to announce that we will stop sending the signals for the period of three weeks and we will back will be back actually on 11th of january now the reason of that of that of course because the market right now is going to be very uh, low in volatility and i think it's not really advised to uh keep your trades running for a long time especially that they are coming uh, the upcoming holidays um are approaching and i believe it's really a high uh, it's, it's, it's really much better that we focus on scalping this time rather than the uh, swing trades of course in extreme trader also we are having this offer as you can see that during this holiday during these three weeks actually we are having a good offer that if you pay for one month you will get one extra week for free pay for two months for subscription and you will get two extra weeks for free and the best of course is pay for three months ahead and you will get a whole month extra for free now of course we didn't leave uh, without any good results as you can see thankfully we have ended the week in a very very good results and it was full of a green as you can see the small losses here and there, uh, there and here of course which is which is really not normal however most of the signals have actually reached the take profit level i think i think on thursday it was a perfect day a hundred percent of the signals have reached the take profit levels and i think also wednesday was a very good day and we can see the, the small losses here and there which, which is really normal as i said before but in general the results are full of green and thankfully we are uh, happy about these results so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin the weekly analysis and of course as usual we will start with the euro usd now the first thing we can notice right here that the dollar itself the us dollar is actually getting weaker and the euro is rising and therefore we can see this very long term of rising for the euro usd um the pair has ba has barely made any bearish momentum and the bullish momentum is actually what is controlling the market so in other words the bulls are controlling the market now let's go to the let's zoom out on the week on the daily candles on the euro usd and the first thing we can notice right here that the pair has actually been able to break out from this resistance on 1.21825 uh, now what we can notice also that the pair right now as, as we can see it's rising however right now it can actually rely on that support to continue the rise i really don't think the euro usd is gonna fall at the moment um from what i see from my point of view the euro usd is actually gonna continue the rise until it, hoped, it, it hit that it hit the top of the resistance on 1.25600 that's gonna be our target in the long run however for the meantime and on daily candles we can notice that the breakout happened right here and therefore on friday night on friday night the candle has closed in this price action that price action usually indicates uh, a bearish pullback or a bearish reversal so i believe that we can witness on monday opening that the pair actually can fall right here to hit that previous support level as i showed you before exactly right here that previous support is going to be retested again and the pair from that point actually going to continue the rise and this time our resist our our target is going to be the resistance right here so in other words this week euro usd is going to be good for the buy however let's go to the four hour time frame and as we can see this is exactly the resistance i'm talking about it's going to be retested hopefully uh, on monday opening the market is actually going to fall to retest the broken resistance and from that point we're actually going to start buying the euro usd all right so uh euro usd is good for the buy at the level um 1.22127 and if we do that let me see how many pips is that is gonna be actually can make it more we actually gonna look for the uh, resistance right here i'm looking right here guys i don't know if you can notice it or not 
there is here a tiny resistance and I'm actually looking at that one so for the euro you see the target is going to be almost 128 pips of profit hopefully we will make them all and the safe zone let me just write for you the take profit so the take profit is going to be 1.23410 and for the safe uh, sorry for the safe zone yeah it's actually going to be ranging until the bottom of that support level i believe that should be no that's too much uh let me just be sure yes we can make it ranging until it hit that resistance level there is always a possibility that the pair actually might fall to retest that resistance again because we already have right here a support number one and there is a chance for the market to fall to create a support number two therefore uh, the safe zone is actually going to be ranging until that previous support level so therefore uh, this is going to be the safe zone just like that so there goes your signal for the euro usd i really hope it's going to work well for everyone and will bring us lots of profits now let's look at the pound usd now for the pound usd actually i was about to give a signal to start buying the pair uh, if we look at the daily candles we can notice right here that we are having a previous resistance and seems like the pound usd actually gonna rely on that previous resistance and also it was previously a support level so i was hoping for the pair to actually continue the rise until it retest the broken support level right here on 1.37940 however just a few minutes ago they have announced uh, an air emergency lockdown in london and in uk in general to prevent the new uh, type of coronavirus or covid 19 virus and therefore i think the signal for the for the pound usd is going to be cancelled for this week as we are not really sure what will gonna happen and how is this gonna affect the currency now as i said before from technical view the pound usd was really good for the buy this week but because of the emergency lockdown and it was not that expected because actually everyone was hoping that mr boris johnson is actually going to be uh, relaxing with the, with the restrictions in, in uk however this unexpected lockdown in london might actually affect the currency and therefore uh, buying the pound usd right now doesn't really seem so good idea especially with the brexit deal it's about to uh being extended again <clears throat> they announced that maybe on um, sunday 28th december they might actually ask for extending the deadline for the brexit deal so that's not gonna be good news for the pound as well so therefore i'm sorry but this week and uh, just to, for the safety for the followers and everyone i'm gonna ha i'm gonna have to cancel any signal for the pound usd and hopefully in the next week we're going to send the signal now let's look at the aud usd for the AUD usd as you can see the pair actually have made the bullish breakout from that previous resistance level so the pair actually is going to continue the rise and from my point of view it's not going to stop rising until it, hoped it hit uh, the top of the resistance as 0.6777 however uh, what we can notice right here that the pair actually has closed on a bullish uh, breakout candle from that resistance level on friday night therefore this resistance level has already been retested by seeing this candle this candle here telling us so much it's telling us that the pair actually on friday night or friday itself has actually went down retesting that resistance level and then on friday night the closure of the candle was in this shape or this price action indicating a pressure from the buyers meaning they are going to take the market up and as you can see the retest has happened already and what i can expect actually that the market might fall a little bit more to retest again the level of 75847 uh, retesting that broken resistance because we already have a support number one and we can expect a support number two after that the market actually gonna continue the rise therefore aud usd is gonna be good for the buy at the level 0 0.75847 and if I'm not mistaken, the safe zone should be ranging until that support level. Hopefully, it's not a lot of pips. F uh, 57, which is really fair enough. That's going to be our safe zone. And the target, as I said before, is going to be the peak of the resistance right here uh, on 0 0.7677. So we are looking for almost, I would say, about 100 pips of profit. Hopefully, we will make it from the buying of the AUD USD. So the take profit level. 0 
there goes your signal for the AUD USD. I really hope it's going to be working very well for us as well, and hopefully we'll make some good profits out of it. Let's look at the USD CAD. Now the USD, by the way, as you can see, guys, I have already analyzed these uh, charts before recording, so therefore you can see these trend lines and the targets or the entry levels already entered. Anyway, for the USD CAD, as you can see, uh, the pair is actually now uh, going under this uh, uh, bearish trend line, and the resistance trend line has been respected many times. And I don't really see the pair with the current situation of the US dollar gonna be able to break out from that resistance trend line. The bearish momentum is what's controlling the USD CAD. And if we actually zoom out to the weekly candles, we can notice that the pair is trying so hard to break out from that level. However, it seems like, as I said before, the bearish momentum is controlling the market and seems like the, the pair is eventually going down towards the support level of 1.26236 therefore i believe if i'm not mistaken um the target is way too big um the let's go back to the four hour time frame as you can see as i said before we are having this resistance trend line and seems like the usd cad is actually gonna uh, depending on that previous support level it actually right now ranging on that resistance so there is a slight chance that on US, on monday opening the usd cad actually going to continue the fall right away however and because of this resistance trend line i really believe that the pair gonna continue rising a little a, 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 just a little bit more to retest that broken sorry not broken to retest that resistance trend line and after that it's actually gonna continue the fall as i said the pair is depending on that support to rise a little bit more above that resistance just to go right here like that all right that being said we can actually start shorting um the usd cad at the level 1.28123 and the safe zone is going to be marked just above the resistance trend line so if the pair actually was able to make the break out from that resistance trend line it's actually gonna uh, continue the rise so let me just make it like that and uh, i think this is fair enough yeah it's fair enough 51 pips only which is really good and there goes the safe zone just like that and for the target this time actually i'm just gonna be safe and play it safe so therefore the target is actually gonna be the lowest bottom level of that support level so in other words we are looking hopefully we are looking hopefully for 123 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so the take profit is gonna be 1.26881 there goes your signal for the USD CAD and hopefully also it will work very well for everyone. Now looking at the USD JPY. So regarding the USD JPY, I believe that the pair actually have reached the lowest level of the support level and it has been really oversold. And I think the this week we can look for buying the USD JPY. However, if we look at the daily candles, we can notice right here this price action. That price action is my favorite when I see it on a support level. It usually indicates a continuation or the uh, uh, actually uh, a bullish reversal, especially when you are seeing it on daily candles on a support level. So that being said, USDGPY this week should be really good for the buy. However, we have to be clever about wh where we can start buying it. As we can see, we're having right here the support level. And since we can see that the current market has actually closed on a bearish candle like that on friday night we can expect from the market to fall a little bit more to create another attempt of the support right here and from there we can start buying the usd jpy so therefore uh usd jpy is going to be good for the buy at 103.053 and let me see how many pips we can make this safe zone the safe zone, as we can see, guys, uh, there is no, not so much information that we can rely on, except the support right here. Look, look at my mouse cursor. That is the candle right there. So I think that's going to be about, yeah, 45 FIPS, which is really fair enough. That's going to be our safe zone. Just like that. And the target this time is actually going to be aiming the resistance level right here on 104. So... Uh, we are actually going to aim about 150 pips uh, profit this week from the selling the sorry from buying the USD GPY. So the take profit level 105, 104, sorry, 104.594. 
uh, that goes your signal for the USD JPY and really hope also it's going to be another profitable and very good signal. Now let's take a look at the USD CHF. Now for the USD CHF, I think it's really easy and very simple to tell that the pair actually going to continue the fall. The bearish momentum is what's, con what's controlling the USD CHF at the moment. So therefore, right now we can see that the USD CHF actually facing a support right here. And I'm expecting another pullback just to retest that broken resistance, uh, sorry, broken support level on 0 0.8529. And I believe from that level, the pair actually going to continue the fall. Therefore, uh, USD CHF this week is going to be for the short at 0 0.885, uh, I would say 25. All right, so the safe zone, of course, is going to be ranging until the peak of that resistance level right here. So the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 50 pips, which is fair enough. Just like that. And the take profit level this time. The problem with the UCCHF really, uh, we need to use the weekly candles to find the targets. Uh, some of my friends here on the comment section, they, they recommended using uh, trading view. However, I just don't like it for some reason. And I want to actually mark the sell levels on the MetaTrader just so I can refer to the signals again. So that's why actually I have to use, stick to MetaTrader. So as you can see right here, we're having this support level right here. And actually, again, depend on that to be my target. So the target this time is going to be just like that. So the target is going to be actually almost 90 pips. So therefore, the take profit level is going to be 0 0.87454. There goes your signal for the UCCHF and really hope also it's going to be a very profitable and good signal. All right. So now let's look at the, uh, the gold. Now for the gold, as we can see, the pair actually have reached the this uh, resistance level right here. As you can see, the gold has been really overbought, overbought right now on the level one, uh, 1897. And if I'm not mistaken, right now the gold is actually reversing. Right here, we can see that the gold have reached this resistance level. And right now it's actually reversing. And from my point of view, the gold actually going to uh, retest that broken re uh, resistance level. And relying on that very strong key support level on 1863, it's actually going to reverse and continue the climbing of the trend. Not only that, but however, we can notice right here also, uh, this is very interesting. Let's look at that. So if we draw right here a resistance trend line, we can notice something very interesting. The pair actually have been respecting the resistance trend line for quite a long time since, um, let me see, since uh, August 22, uh, 2020. However, we can see that right here on November, the pair actually have made the bullish breakout uh, from that resistance trend line. And then what happened next? If you guys remember, uh, that major drop right here happened when Pfizer has announced the uh, successful ratio for their vaccine. And actually, that was the reason the pair has actually went down like that below that resistance trend line. And uh, the interesting thing is that very same level or the very same resistance trend line is being respected again, again. So now what's happened, what's happening right now is we can see another bullish breakout happening from that resistance trend line. And what we can right now uh, expect or witness on the gold, it actually might fall again retesting that previous uh, resistance trend line to become a new support trend line. Also, as I said before, relying on that previous support level, we can expect from the pair to continue the rise. Uh, of course, we need to draw the resistance trend line properly. So let me just zoom in and we can just draw it like that. Exactly. That is the right way. So as I said before, we can expect from the goal to fall a little bit more, retesting the broken resistance trend line to become a new support trend line. Also relying on that previous support level, we can start buying the gold right from that level of the support. So therefore, the gold is going to be good for the buy at 1863.20. And the safe zone is going to be ranging just below that support trend line, if in case the uh, retest is going to fail. So it's going to be lasting for almost 130 pips. And therefore, guys, please, please be extra careful and wise about your investment when you are trading with the gold. And of course, the target this time is going to be that resistance level right here on 1916. 
Frankly speaking, I really don't think the gold is actually going to be able to rise higher than uh, that level. It might reach 2930. I think that's going to be the maximum for the gold right now. However, we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen with the new uh, management in the White House with Mr. Joe Biden and how is he going to control uh, the, the pandemic in the United States. All of that going to be actually playing a major role in controlling, oh, sorry, in the prices of the gold. So, anyway. <clears throat> As I said before, uh, the target this week, we actually are going to aiming that re previous resistance right here. So the target is going to be almost, I would say about 500 pips. However, the stop loss or the safe zone is ranging for 130 pips, which is really fair enough. So the take profit level, 1,910. 1,910, that's enough. So there goes your signals this week for uh, the Forex market. I really hope it's going to be a very good week. And of course, don't forget, guys, on, fr on uh, Friday, I think, or Thursday, I think Thursday. Um, Friday, the market is going to be closed. So we cannot expect any trades to be happening on Friday. So please be extra wise and careful uh, because the market right now is going to uh, the holiday season. And it's almost, you guys say, like it's going to sleep mode. So please be extra careful and wise about your trades. In the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.